वेलकम स्टूडेंट टुडे वी स्टडी द सब पॉइंट्स ऑन सी टॉपिक दैट इज द स्पेसिंग एंड प्लांट पॉपुलेशन एंड देन ऑप्टिमम टाइम ऑफ सोइंग ऑफ डिफरेंट क्रॉप्स सो इनिशियली वी स्टडी द स्पेसिंग स्पेसिंग मींस द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन रो टू रो एंड प्लांट टू प्लांट is known as a spacing and it is various in different crops that the when crops are as a cereal or pulse or there is a rain feed crop that is the close spacing is required then when crops are grown as a irrigated crop and that time it is the spacing should be taken more or required more so spacing is the important factor for the different crops in order to success of different crops and gets maximum yield so the plant population and the spacing is interrelated with each other so the spacing is decide the plant population per unit or per hectare area then the spacing is also depends upon the different factors that the size of seed then the spacing is also depend upon the growth habit of plant that is the tall or dwarf plants then the branching habit of that crop and also affect on the type of soil that the medium to light soil medium to light soil close spacing is required but when soils are more deep and heavy that time spacing is required more so these factors are also influence on the spacing of different crop we see the different spacing in different crops or variations in spacing so that we study the next point carefully the spacing between row to row and plant to plant is decide the plant population per unit area to obtain the better yield of plant and are sown at wide spacing when the crops crops are sown very densely that time it competed among with the plant for more growth for the growth absorption of nutrient absorption of moisture and also absorption of nutrients and also the spacing that required for the development of grow crop so when the spacing is very closely that time more pest and diseases are attack on the crop so these factors are also considered while the sowing of different crop in different spacing or distance so the ne, we study ne, next point the optimum plant population is necessary to obtain the maximum yield of particular crop the optimum plant population is depend upon the size of plant elasticity then the branching habit then the nature of growth habit of plant then the cap then the plants how many long duration these plants are crops are remain into the field so these are also important factors while the sowing of crops and taken a optimum spacing so optimum spacing should be important for we also
we also study the optimum what is optimum space uh, spacing and plant population plant population means that the, the number of plants that required per hectare or per unit area and that is the depend upon the spacing so it is the optimum plant population is necessary for obtain the maximum yield then we study the for example jowar and bajra crop required 1.37 lakh to 1.5 lakh plants per hectare that time spacing should be required 45 by 15 cm 45 cm that is the row to row and 15 cm that is the plant to plant next one example we see the cotton irrigated cotton that is the 12000 plants are required per hectare when the spacing should be taken row to row is 120 cm and space distance between plant to plant is the 90 cm required then the groundnut crop plant population is required near about 2 lakh to 2.5 lakh per hectare whereas the spacing is 30 by 15 cm so these factors are important these factors are important for the plant population spacing for gets maximum higher and quality products from the crop so next point we study the time optimum time of sowing what is the optimum time of sowing in india and as well as maharashtra there is a three sowing seasons that is the kharif season it also known as a rainy season number second one is the rabi season it is also known as a winter season and number third one is the summer season in these three seasons different crops are grow or sown and eat grow the successfully and gives maximum better yield for to the farmer so the optimum time of sowing is also increase the yield of different crop that the the crops are different crop plants are pass through the different growth stages that is the germination stage number second one is the seedling stage number third one is the vegetative or branching stage next one is the flower bud setting stage and flowering stage and next one is the seed setting and ripening stage of the crop plant so during these stages during these critical growth stages the optimum weather condition is required for different growth stages so we study the carefully during the kharif season in summer season we plow the field with the help of plow and then in kharif season crops seeds are sown immediately after commencement of the monsoon immediately after commencement of the monsoon for example jowar seeds are also sown in kharif and rabi season in kharif season jowar seeds are sown in the month of june in the month of june to first week of july and when seeds are sown after second week or second fourth night of july that time crop is not grow successfully and it remain in to the field as a disease plants and it is not healthy plants and yield is reduced so we during the commencement of monsoon in kharif season soil 
gets cool due to rainfall or rain occurs that time into the soil warm water vapors are produced and these water vapors are important for the germination of kharif season seeds and that time crops are thrives very well then in rabi season the then in rabi season the crops are sown crops are sown mostly in the la in the month of september that is the last week of september to first in the last week of september to october and let sowing should be done in rabi season that is the first week of november and this rabi season or winter season initial growth stage of different crop it required the cool climate for germination and dry climate for the productive growth that the flowering stage and ripening stage of the different crop and during the summer season the crops are sown mostly first fourth night of january so student carefully study and listen these points of seed topic that is the spacing that also known as the distance between plant to plant and row to row and plant population and also the optimum time of seed sowing